honestly just enjoy things that challenge me. And avionics is the first thing that I've been involved in where I'm just constantly challenged. There's new technology being released that forces you to learn things. I've always had the intention of starting my own avionics shop. When I very first started, I was just learning all the basics and stuff and just watching them operate their own shop and seeing the way they did things made me want to do things my own way. I took the good things that I could from all the places I've worked at and I've tried to incorporate it into this place. I've been working with Josh basically since he's been in the Fort Pierce area. He's done numerous avionics installs for us, from Barons to Kingers, Citations, an ADSB install on a Citation Encore. We've done full installs on Citation 560s, which is a class four aircraft, all the way down to, like I said, a Cessna 150. But we put the same amount of care into both of them. From the moment that I went to meet Josh and his team, they took me through the future. What is possible for this airplane? And he would draw it out on the computer and then we could sit there and move the displays onto the computer because I wanted it to be very specific. So we had changed, making a few adjustments and before anything was taken apart on that airplane, we had a perfect graphic what the future panel would look like. It's basically creating a finished product before you have to do anything in real life. You just spend some time on a computer and come up with the perfect finished product and send that to your customer. Your customer can be like, that's exactly what I want, and then you go from there. We'll take a picture of the panel, take a picture of everything, keep really good documents of how things are when they come to us. Any piece of that system that was there before, unless for some reason we need to reuse it, we're gonna take it out. And that's just gonna ensure that we're not splicing onto a wire that's got damage further on down that we didn't see. When you rip every single thing out of the plane and install everything new, there's no question. So like, oh, what are these wires? What are those wires? You have installed brand new wires throughout the whole thing. So you know that there's no hot wires anywhere. We've got a laser wire marker, which it lasers the labels onto the wires so that your aircraft will actually have all your wire labels printed on the wire. So at anywhere in the system, you can grab it and be like, oh, I know what that is, and you don't get lost. This is a 1975 Bonanza, and during the years of this airplane, anytime somebody would have something done, a new instrument put in or whatever, they clip the wires, take the instrument out, and instead of gutting the airplane, they just leave those wires in there. So over the course of all these years, it had collected almost 30 pounds of unused wire. The second step is doing all the sheet metal modifications and any kind of metal working is what we call it here. Step three would be the building up the wiring on our wiring board. The wire board is basically this little wall and it's got a bunch of peg holes all in it. So what we do is we go into the plane that we're gonna do a new harness for and we measure how wide, the depth, where the new instruments are gonna be and ones that are staying in there. We can literally make it exactly perfect. And then uh, step four is actually testing and troubleshooting. And then after that, we schedule a test flight. A Couple days later, we'll release the plane. I've worked with Josh on other installs he's done. He did a 58 Baron with a uh, G500 TXI and the new Garmin G600 autopilot. We did the test flight for him on that airplane to check it out and was very impressed. We do like making sure that the customer leaves very happy. Uh, that's very important to us. If there is an issue that comes up, we do everything in our power to make it right. We just try to make sure that the only thing that our customers can say about us is they made it right or they did a great job. So when you want to stop by at the shop and you're just curious to see how the plane's coming along, he welcomes you there. He wants you to come by. He's excited to show you what they've done. We're all around shop. We've partnered with Turnworks. So when we have customers that come in that are getting avionics done, engine probes, engine monitors, they can have uh, their annuals done by Turnworks. Their engines looked over, overhauled, whatever they need to be. If they have complaints that are with their gears or whatnot, we can get that handled. So complete flexibility, which in a lot of shops you don't get. That's one of the things dealing with Josh and the way he's growing and innovating. I mean, I think he's going to do extremely well in the industry. I like to surprise people, show them that an avionics shop can be successful by being honest and actually just doing good work. You do it with a smile on your face and you make sure that you, through each step of the process, stay on top of the things that were the biggest concerns for them. They'll generally be very happy with the service you're providing.